similarities between Allah of Islam and Yahweh of um, Christianity. There are similarities. He's the creator of all, the judge of all. He's good, he's pure, he's holy. He's almighty, omniscient. He accomplishes his purposes and will, etc. Those are true of both Allah and God. But, but there's a couple things in Islam that, where they do not accept what Christianity teaches. <laughs> they do not embrace, for instance, the Trinity, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Matter of fact, that's a terrible sin to believe in that. They consider that polytheism. And the worst sin in Islam, the worst sin in Islam is, uh, is polytheism. The worst sin in Islam is called shirk. It's unforgivable to worship anyone as the partner of Allah. Well, we're called to worship Jesus and the Holy Spirit, the Holy Trinity. Secondly, and I, and I hate this, I mean, that one's clear as a bell. This one, so round. The, the God, Allah, does not love people the way God of Christianity does. He's not a God of love. Turn around and say that. Why? Where? To who? The, uh, the Muslims over there. I'm not here to stir response. up problems. Uh, you know, if you want to bring him over here, I'll find, but I'm not here to, you know, cast verbal stones at him and so on. Which is what you just did not do? <laughs> no, I'm here making a statement of truth. If they want to engage in it, fine. If they don't, I'm not going to entice them or antagonize them. So, in, in Islam, God is considered merciful. But the idea that God is loving in the way that the Bible teaches. <laughs> um, how do we know God is love? Jesus said, when you pray to God, you pray, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Our Father. Paul amplifies, he says, that God is our Abba, our Daddy. Very personal name like he's, he's daddy and Islam would not believe that at all you don't call God your father you don't call God daddy uh, he's he's the master he's the king he's God but he's not daddy he's not father any kind of a personal or emotional love you know um, it's kind of like go back to a you like Obama okay let's go back to Obama a minute uh, can you call Obama up on the phone? No. Do you think do you think he likes you? Uh, do you think he wants your well-being? Okay, he wants what's best for you. You're an American citizen, but you don't have a relationship with him. Now, what's his daughter's name? Masha. What's his daughter's name? Help me. Sasha, like his daughter Sasha. She's the one who smiles all the time. So cute. See, she can come sit on Daddy's lap. When Daddy comes home, he runs up to her, she runs up, they hug, he sits on the, he probably tickles her. Can you imagine him tickling you? You know? So, in other words, what, the, 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 the picture in Islam would be like Barak to you. God to us is like Barak to you. The picture in Christianity is like Barak to his daughter Sasha. That type of a, an emotional that he cares. That's why I said earlier that in, in, uh, you, you can hurt God's feelings. You can pain his heart. You can say things that cause God to feel pain and hurt because he loves you. It's like, you know, if, you know in all honesty, if you said to me, Tom, you cussed me out and said something really mean to me, I wouldn't like it, but I could handle it okay. But if my daughter said that to me, if my daughter cussed me out and wanted me out of her life, that would hurt. And it's the same with God, the God of the Bible. You tell God, get out of your life. You don't care about him. You're better off without him. And, and that's it's like saying to your father. The other way, by the way, as Christians, we know God loves us is he took the form of human flesh in the person of Christ, came down and lived among us. 
And as he lived among us, we, he revealed God to us. We got to know him. And he went through what we go through because of his love for us.